Going into the presidential debate, um, I think this man spoke for all Nigerians when he asked all the candidates this question. Why are you running? Why are you running? Oh yeah, PDP candidate, answer the question. Hmm. You don't say. Oh no, okay. And now let's listen to the brilliant response to this critical question by the APC candidates. I couldn't have said it better myself. Really? What more is there to say? <laughs> ah, okay. Is there maybe anyone else who can help them with this question? Maybe one of the people who were present. The reason they are not here, there are two reasons. One is arrogance. They believe that the people of Nigeria have no voice and no choice. That you will always come back to them. The second reason they are not here is because they cannot answer the questions. Oh. Uh, does anyone have a different answer? Pride always comes before a fall. And every time you believe that you have no need to tell the people what it is that you're going to do, it means that you are not there to serve them in the first case. Antiobi, do you have anything to say? They have just simply announced their exit. Well, then again, the answer to why these candidates were missing in action could be rooted in Nigerian history. In 1999, former president and current letter writer skipped the debate. He won the election. In 2003, Obasanjo debated OBJ, Baba Shege, and Baba Yabo. He defeated himself and won the election. In 2007, Patotomi and one Muhammad Buhari debated. Omaya Rudua won the election, despite using the debate to catch Kubris. In 2011, Shekarao, Nuhu Ribadu, and Bubu debated, but lost because winning takes some luck. In this case, some good luck. <laughs> In 2015, Bubu was missing at the debate. But he now resides in Asarok. That's whenever rats don't chase him away. <laughs> so, who debate talk talk app for this Niger? Who? That's how the event turned into what one could call the 2019 presidential uh, debate under 60 edition, aka find candidates no wrinkles. Mm. Or the two 2019 presidential debate third force alumni edition. It's life self. Anyway, so APC and PDP running away aside, can we take a moment to acknowledge how awkward this moment must have been for these former PACT associates? We believe in the nation and we know we'll get there. So awkward, in fact, that Professor Moalo was chewing mouth. What a beautiful reunion. And Antio B decided to withdraw. Imagine. Anyway, while some people were feeling too big to debate, I won't, I won't mention names, some others that showed up were making all of us look forward to the day when Nigeria will have leaders that show up. A day when Nigeria will have leaders that can present clear agenda for the progress of Nigeria. Leaders that can hold hands with the opposition for the sake of a better Nigeria. Who knows? As we collect our PVCs and go out to vote, that day might come in 2019, hopefully. Well, one day, this hope that we are all hoping will shall become a reality. But until that time, let us do our civic responsibility.